Hello everyone, welcome to V's Cucina. Today I am going to be doing a Timo Holt and I'm also gonna show you a couple items that I found at Dollar Tree. I'm pretty sure you've seen them around, but it's the first time I see them in my store. It's like so hard to find them, but I'm really um, looking forward to decorating for um, Halloween and see how that turn out with my new addition. Um, but let's start with the Timo Holt and I also wanna report back uh, that um, some of the items that I already tried from my previous Timo home, and I can tell you that um, I bought this sink uh, stopper, and for me, it did not fit. Um, it did not work for our, for our um, sink. It did say it was supposed to be universal. I mean, it was it seemed pretty handy, but I think I'm gonna try to return these uh, because they did not work for us. I'll sink, I don't know, it, it goes like halfway down, but it doesn't actually go down directly. So I know there's a stopper in there, that, that but it, it's so hard to put it in that it's not worth ordering online unless you know your measurement very well. Although this day universal, I don't believe it's universal because uh, we have a standard, uh, standard sink in our um, bathroom, so. It should have fit, but it didn't. Let's try to continue on with the rest of the stuff that I ordered from. Okay, I'm already opening it up, so I don't have to be going through the thing. Um, what I ordered from Timo was, uh, is this little gun that you put, um, like if you want to cover your, your dress, or you don't want to sew it, or something like that. You've probably seen it. I will put the, 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 the prices on the comments. Uh, but what I love about it is that um, this, if the girls maybe need like a little bit of a tightening or the sweater is like a little bit um, revealing, I can just use this glue gun. And I'm not glue gun, but it's like a clip gun. We have this little plastic here that you can just. So there's be like a hundred of them, I think. And you can put them in the gun. And they'll cover it. It's almost like you're putting like a little thing when you go to the store that you have those kind of. This is gonna be hard to take off. So like a little tag that you put on it, and if you want to cover something, you can just put the tag on it, and it would do that. I'm not gonna show you. I picked the pink one, and um, I'm gonna try it out and see how that works out. I think this is going to be my last haul from Timo for a little while because, um, like I said, sometimes Timo can be a, a hit or a miss. Um, some items might be worth the travel, but other ones, I don't know what these are supposed to be. Maybe like a little buttons. It almost look like a bear, like a little bear. Like a button, yep, I think that's what it is that you can put in. Uh, I'm looking forward to trying it out. Oh, one of them came out. Let me see. One of them came out here. Look at this. Okay, so. We'll try to figure it out. But I thought this was very interesting because something that you can um, use if you are having a hard time and you don't have time to sew it. This is a perfect idea that you can just clip it until you get home and take care of it. That's. Uh, or if you're trying to dress up and you're missing certain stuff, then that this will be the perfect addition so you can just go on your way and not having to sew or anything like that. At least to hold on until the end of the day so you can actually get to that point of sewing if you need to. Okay. Then we have, um, I have this uh, panties and they're supposed to be like for when you have your period. I know it's a little bit too much information, but this, this, it is what it is. I haven't tried them, of course, but um, as soon as I have my period, I'm gonna try to use them. They're supposed to absorb a little bit more, so supposedly it keep you dry. It's supposed to be used with a lining, with a cup, or whatever it is that you use. I, I tend to use pads for my taste. Um, I think I picked the extra large because I kind of like my, my uh, panties a little loose, so I believe this is definitely extra large. I don't think uh, this is extra large. Yeah, it's extra large. And this one comes in a three pack, and I will include the prices. I love the 
the fact that it will maybe keep you um, a little bit drier. But this is the the thing that goes on the bottom. I only ordered one pack because I wanted to try it out and see how they work. Because really, I want to make sure that um, they do work. Um, it, we got a uh, gray one. This one have almost like a pink pink color. A little pink color here. And you have that absorption little pad here. I hope it's cotton because if it isn't cotton, you know, here it's too hot for not to include cotton. And I'm going to look it up because for some reason now I want to know if it's cotton or not. It says 95% cotton, 5% expanded. Okay, so that's good. You have to be cotton in that, that area at least because everything is 95%. And I believe this is the stretchy part, so definitely. Okay. So, and then there's a, almost like a beige color. Yeah, it's like a beige color. So it comes in a, in a three pack. And I'm looking forward to using them and seeing how they work. This is more for my um, time of the month <laughs> where the period might be a little heavy and you have a little bit of a more solution there to cover you. We'll see what happens there. Um, I haven't used it yet, but I will report back to you guys as soon as I use them, like I did with the sink stopper, which didn't work out very well. So I wouldn't invest on that sink stopper because it doesn't, it's not gonna do justice. Um, I think it's better to go to Home Depot and try to measure it or take like your stopper. Or, so this way you can get the, the proper one, okay. So this one is supposed to be a comb to flat iron your hair. And I saw it and I thought it was like maybe less than $3. I will put the price in it. I wanted to try it out to see if it will measure up with um, with my other comb because sometimes I, I only have one and sometimes I misplace it and I'm looking for it like a crazy woman, you know, I tend to forget things. So I wanted to see if this one might help and have a second one just in case or oh, maybe one for the girls when they want to flat iron their hair like Eva asked me to fly iron her hair yesterday and I tried this using this but look you see how this goes like this it's not supposed to do that it's very flimsy this area here is it moves too much and to me it's very plasticky um, so it doesn't actually do justice I'll show you my other one, which is more sturdy. And I had it for, I wanna say I had it for at least 12, 13 years. That's how long I had this. It's crazy, but this is not gonna last too long. For $2, I guess you get, you pay, you get what you pay for. And this is like very flimsy, as you can see, it moves. And I, I'm afraid that this might hurt. And the fact that sometimes the fly iron is a little heat, heated, I don't know, I, this feels too flimsy for me. I don't know if I'm gonna ever use it. I, I, try, I, I tried it on my girl, and Eva, last night, and I, I wasn't happy with it. I like the stability of the comb to be able to comb through it, and I'll show you what I mean. This is my other comb, and you see it doesn't go beyond that, but this one is like, look at the difference, this is like, very flimsy, it's like plasticky. You can bend it. This one, you cannot even bend it. You see, bend it, you cannot bend it, but this one, you can bend it, you can do whatever you want. This one is, is very loose, like here, I can move this. I'm not gonna move this area here. This doesn't move at all. It's more sturdy, it's from the Q8, and I got this from my mom, my mom gave me this. Um, so if I had to replace it, I think I'm gonna get the same brand because there's no point of trying to buy another one. And the, the point of these combs are basically you grab your hair, you grab it like this, you use your flat iron, and then you go over it like this. And it's supposed to flat iron your hair while you comb it at the same time. And it actually cut down on the time from uh, doing your hair. I mean, for me, <laughs> it still will be 45 minutes to an hour to get my hair done because I have too much hair. But it does help get the more sleek design and it does help for me so so this one on Timo I don't recommend it I think you should spend a little bit more money and get the one that is worth it this one seems more stability and you know like this is very plasticky 
this one feels more sturdy i mean it's plastic but it's like hard surface plastic and i really really like it like you can see the difference look this is like very flimsy and you can do that this one is just believe me it's not the same i wanted to try it but i would i would not use this in my daughter's hair because i will feel very uh, afraid that it might move that that you know because it's so flimsy I want it to be stable. I don't want it to go anywhere near my daughter's ear or anything like that. And this, I feel like it's so flimsy that it might fall off. So I really do not recommend this kind of comb from Timo. It's just not worth it. I mean, if you're gonna buy something, especially when you're dealing with your hair, you look at this, this is actually shaking. Look at this one. This is not going anywhere. Look how it shakes. It's shaking. It's shaking and you know it shakes. I do not like it. I don't think it's sturdy enough, so I don't recommend it. Okay, let's keep on going. What else do we have? I did buy this for my bathroom. I mean, I have a stand-up shower, and I like the fact that I mean you can use a broom from the Dollar Tree. Um, I have the video in my um, videos that you can see there, but I like the fact that this one can go to the corners. Um, and it'll bend a little bit like this and I'll bend the other way, you know, the corners might be able to go through it. Um, I really like that. I haven't tried it, so I don't know how good it is going to be, but I feel that, you know, you can just put this in here, tie it around, and then you put this in here, yeah. That's interesting. Okay, maybe this one goes up here. Yeah, this one goes there. And then this one you just... Oh, wow. Something must be missing here. Let me see. Mm, does it go like this? I guess it goes like that. Okay. And it goes with the pink. And... You have this little, well, not very sturdy, I guess. Let's see. Let me see if I can wrap this in here. What happened here? I guess we have to wrap it around. Yeah, like I said, you pay what you get. I don't know if I'm putting it properly. No, it's not gonna work. I don't feel like maybe this here doesn't go. Maybe this one goes in there. I almost feel like the same design is. I don't know which one goes in there. Okay. Oh, well. Thought it was going to be easier to figure out. It doesn't have instructions, so you just have to figure out yourself. Maybe you have a manual um, online. They do include a manual online, so we'll see what that happens. Okay, well this one have this rubber here, I think. Well, this is seem more complicated than it needs to be. So we'll see what that happened there. This doesn't wanna come out now. For assembly, it's already giving me a problem. I hope it's not uh, going to be an issue when I'm using it. Let's see. That's the, that one doesn't want to come out, so maybe that's where it goes. I hope it is where it goes. Let's try to... Okay, this seems to be getting in there. So... Then you have the handle. Hopefully the handle will go in. Oh, okay, it goes in. So this is how it goes. It's, it's long, but I don't think it's that long to tell you the truth. It's almost like half my size. So that's not a, I mean, it's not like you're gonna go like this. You probably have to go like this to, to do it. Um, this does soar, soar a little bit too much, but you can go in the corners. So we'll see how that goes. 
workouts for my up from this for the stand up shower so you can just scrub i mean you can also get the the the, the dollar store uh, the dollar tree one and use uh, a broom in the shot a stand up shower that's the option that's what i would do probably i'm gonna try and see how that works out okay and i also have um the other pants that i was waiting to come because it was coming up from overseas and this one is a workout a workout um pants they say that it's as soft as lululemon and um and i kind of feel like oh it looks so big i hope it fits me this is like extra large and i think it's extra large for you yeah extra large and it does feel very soft i have to say um, I, I got the gray one because, you know, gray goes with almost an, anything and they're definitely going to make an, a good addition. I'm going to try it out and see how big it is. I mean, I'm normally like between 12, 14, but I, right now I feel like I'm losing some weight. So I'm noticing my, my um, I've been walking with my husband and uh, we walk every hour uh, for an hour every day. And I have noticed a difference on my pants, like shrinking down a little bit. So maybe I should go for a large instead of extra large because this seemed like you have a lot of elastic to it. So if you, my size, I'm gonna try it out and see. Let me show you. Okay, this does feel very soft. They do feel like they're going to be a great addition. So I guess extra large is good. I do have it have some tummy control here, but I think I could have got it a large and I will be okay with it. I do like that it is very soft. The only thing I don't like is that it doesn't have pocket. Sometimes I take my I take my phone with me and I do really like when my phone is with me, especially because my girls are in school and I want to make sure that that it actually, but I, I like it. I think it's going to be a perfect color. I hope it will fit me for a little while, but I kind of feel like it's like it has so much wiggle room that you definitely could have gotten a smaller size. I could have gone as large and it would have been fine. It would have been a little bit more tight and keep everything in a little longer. So definitely, I think we need to re-examine the clothing line because this one definitely is going to be, if you if I will order this again, I'll probably order like a large. Uh, so that is going to be better than ordering a little extra large for me and if you're 12 and 14 then definitely you need to order a large i think a large you can pull it off but that's just me uh everyone is different so you only know you know your size and you know what's going to fit you better so that's always a plus and you always should be looking out for that um but so far i do like it i think it's soft some people are comparing it to the lululemon line it does have like a little insignia in the back here um it does look very nice on the body and molds your body very well i wish it would have been a little bit more tighter but but i prefer comfort so this is definitely going to be more comfortable and it's going to give me that comfort especially when you're walking outside you don't want to be too stuck and you know you want to be as flexible and i wonder if this thing goes up I don't feel like this is too short for for the shower. Look how short this is. This is not even the 
That big, look. <laughs> okay, well, definitely not that big. Okay. And it's not really staying in. I don't know why is that doing that. I don't know if this is supposed to be like a like a stopper for it so it doesn't move. I kind of feel like maybe this one should have gone on the other side. Yeah, definitely, definitely should have a manual to go with this. I, think, I guess the black one does go inside of it. The back goes, the black little handle goes in here. And this goes here. I don't look like this is supposed to go there yet. Yeah. Let's try to put this in here. Yeah, I guess it goes like that. I have to say this is not big enough. Look, this is not really that big. It's not big at all. And I'm going to do like this. But it's not long enough. I, I expect that if it's something to do the shower, she definitely needs to be a little bit longer, like at least. What I'm gonna try to do is see if I can get use one of those Dollar Tree poles and maybe that will work better. We'll see. I don't know. I just haven't used it, so I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but it's a little confusing how to put it together. But definitely the black one, the black to roll into it, it's definitely the one that goes on the brush and then the other ones are the metal, the two metal ones with the pink one goes inside of it. So that's, I think that's what's working better. Okay, let's move on to, um, okay, well, I'm already done with the Timo Holt. Uh, let's move on to Dollar Tree one. The, the thing that I found at Dollar Tree that I really, really like was those stackable pumpkins. Um, they had the white ones, they had the orange ones, complete orange one, and then they had this one that was supposed to be, what is it called? It's called, um, a sta it's almost like a candy corn, I think, candy corn, uh, stackable, and I'm gonna open them up and I'm gonna show you how it looks because obviously you can't see it just like this. So let's go do that. And it's been a while, I haven't found this at Dollar Tree. They're normally $5 for the stackables. You know, these can go more expensive somewhere else. Um, so I really like the fact that you can just put them to stack. And this is the different colors that they have. This one is like a very orange one. And then you have, this is almost like a, like a yellow one. So it's almost like a candy corn, I think. I want to show them. And then you have this go on top here. Well, hopefully this gets stuck in here. This one seems like a little bit loose. Why is that? It doesn't seem like it's sticking to it. Yeah, I don't know if that's supposed to happen. Supposed to, are you supposed to roll it in? Oh, okay. Maybe that's it. So this is how they look. Um, this one on the bottom has like this thing here. Um, I was thinking of putting it maybe in outside and adding a couple of uh, rocks on the bottom to try to keep it straight. Um, that would keep it like a little nice um, view on the for out, the outside and you can actually be, maybe Put like a little bit of um, eyes here, you know, like it's literally like a pumpkin, um, pumpkin person in here. So I was thinking of putting this outside. I think it might give it. Or you can also put it inside indoors wherever you want to. I got two of them, and I'm really looking forward to. Well, I can even put it in my office, and they will still be like that pop of colors that you actually will love and enjoy. I finally put this thing together. <laughs> it's been a while, but um, I got that at Walmart for nine dollars, I think. And I leave it. I, re I really, really love it because you get to put everything away. But um, another item that I got at Dollar Tree was this natural pumpkin pick. I love these. They're very hard to find, but I thought that 
maybe this would be like a um it's almost like an apple it's supposed to be like a pumpkin but to me it looks more like an apple and um it's supposed to be natural pumpkin and um and i guess i found two of those found two of those and i don't know what i'm going to use it for but i thought i'd pick them up and see what i can come up for halloween uh, because you never know what you're going to be able to do i also have um just simply decorated this on top here basically just put in i just put in my uh little um the witches in i made this last year and it's like a black candle from the dollar tree so if you want to pick that up I also have this pick your poison. They have these things at Dollar Tree that you can pick up. I really, really love. And you can just put it in anywhere you want to. And I really like that I can put it in with the sunflowers on the back. And then I put in uh, pick your poison. And then you also have, I don't know if this one's gonna light up, but I have this earrings that I got last year and they actually light up pretty good. I love the fact that you can wear it as an earring if you want to, <laughs> but you can also put it in anywhere and it can give a little pop of color to any decoration. So I really like that too. So this one, I, I believe I got this at Walgreens and I kind of love the fact that you can actually put a little bit of a, um, a little bit of a color pop and then you have this little Thing that i got from dollar tree too it's almost like a picture hanger thing let me just get closer so you guys can see it and what i did here was i put all the stuff that my girls have given me this is like a a little note from eva and then i had um happy mother's day i love you mom so much you're my love and uh, i try i wanted to include my girls in my office so i put this little uh it's almost like a little hanger thing. Let me see how it's called. Oh, it's right here. It says it's called photo hanger liner. And it looks like this when you look up in the Dollar Tree. And I love the fact that I can hang my girls' uh, little cards that they make for me. I have a picture, of the, a picture of them right here. And I have little notes to remind me of them when they're in school and I'm not, I'm not home, you know. Or, or they're not home so I can't remember my girls which i don't i don't i need i just want to keep them present in my office so that's like trying to keep them close to me and then this eva have a big note she wrote like so much but she drove herself and me together which i thought it was pretty cute and you know uh when your girls uh do little beautiful things for you you want to display them and you want them to look around so definitely i decided to put it in the office i don't know um but anyone who have kids always want to include their kids and everything they do and definitely my girls have to be included in my office so i love the fact that i was able to find this little hanger at dollar tree and it was definitely worth um it's called again it's called photo hanger liner and i love that a special moment memory collection so definitely worth the 125 because you can put so many things you can put in there i mean this is going to um make your day when you get to see the beautiful things you can put pictures like i put here i have a picture right here but i also love the hanger for the for the little notes that my girls always write to me so that's another idea that you guys can use those little hangers for pictures. Instead of picture, you can put little notes, pictures, or whatever you like to put in, in there. And definitely going to make your day once you see it because I know every time I see this little notes from my girls, it, it definitely make my day and it definitely make me very proud of them. That they're always telling me how much they love me and how much they care about me. So I'm always looking forward to seeing them. It definitely make my day every time. Anyway, guys, this is my halt, my Dollar Tree halt, and my um, my um, Timu halt. Um, I do have to say that um, Timu is uh, it's a little bit hard to determine. I mean, it's either you love it, or you hate it. Uh, sometimes I kind of feel like you're 
you buy and stuff and it's a hit and miss. I mean, it could be, remember that those pants that I got, they were pretty good. This is actually pretty good. I normally tend to go a size on, up a size on things and they definitely uh, look pretty good. And for walking, this is what the attire that I would probably use for walking, my shirt, something that is gonna make me feel that I'm, I'm gonna be able to walk and with no problems. So definitely that is a, is a hit, but with a comb to do your flyer, that was like a total miss. Um, if you know, you know, and you don't want something that is gonna be not sturdy enough for when you're dealing with your hair. I kind of feel, precisely, I kind of feel like that was going to pop out. It actually popped out, oh my God. That is crazy, seriously. Okay, so this popped out and I'm like, okay, no. Yeah, I don't know. I don't feel like, seriously, this is definitely not something that you need. This is the, this, mine doesn't pop out. It doesn't come out. Those things don't come out, but that's so flimsy that they do pop out very easily. Oh my God. They can come apart. <laughs> they can come apart. Oh my God. So this is how flimsy this is. It's like not very sturdy. That's for sure. Okay. This goes up here. Yeah. Wow. Guess that goes there and that goes there. You do hear click when they go inside, but you can see that they, they like right there and right there they clip in. Nowhere in my other one do you get to see that. Doesn't have any any way of getting out. That's maybe that's the stability is that that it cannot move. It's like very. But yeah, I wouldn't use this. I don't think I can use this. Look at this. Your whole hair goes right through it. This one doesn't pass that. It doesn't even allow you to pass anything else because the comb doesn't go anywhere any further down. Okay, well, like I said, this is my hold. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, like I said, Timo is a hit and miss, but I'll put uh, on the description everything that I pay for, um, most of the things that uh, I order, and the sink stopper was from my previous team order so if you haven't seen that one then you have to go look but i wanted to report back to you guys and tell you that that didn't work out for me uh i believe i might have paid five or seven dollars for it but if it doesn't work that's no point <laughs> i know it's like 10 15 dollars on amazon but i have to say that at least in amazon i can just ship it back and um and timo i think what i'm going to return that um flying comb is gonna go back and those um, sink stoppers are definitely going back. Uh, I haven't returned any to Timo, so I don't know how that works. So I'm gonna try to figure out and go online and try to fig figure that. But, oh, it's a hit and miss there. Just have to be careful. I think um, um, we definitely have to consider that when we're ordering stuff online because sometimes it might not fit. It might not work the way that you expect it. It looks too good to be true online and you feel that you're getting a bargain, but sometimes you might not. So, so if you do decide to get the, the pants, I would suggest going down a size because they do have a lot of, look this app, they're very elastic, they're very soft, they have a lot of giving. So I could have wore, I could have wear a large and I would have been fine. Um, definitely think of that when you're ordering, if you decide to order any of the items. Um, the Dollar Tree one, oh my God, I love it. I'm loving this. This definitely is going to be great. I can even use it on my desk if I want to. I mean, definitely is going to add a pop of color to my desk. I mean, the sky's the limit. This is the, only thing, the only thing that it costs $5 at Dollar Tree, so if you're thinking of buying it, they do have a white one and they have an orange, completely orange one. This one is almost like a candy corn, I think, is the concept. Um, but um, I haven't found this in Dollar Tree, so I was looking, I was very, they were just putting it out when I went. I got a couple 
a card from my mother-in-law for their 50th anniversary and I also got a card from my husband because we're gonna be 12 years together so um, that I left in the car so but you know that Dollar Tree have um, very good Hallmark uh, Hallmark uh, cars for a dollar so you can't go wrong I mean you can pay five dollars and, and, and anywhere else but there you only have to pay one dollar for it so that's always a plus Give that a chance and uh, I'll see you next time on Bees Cocina. Sorry, I'm bubbling a little bit there, but I'll see you next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I hope I hope you're having a wonderful day. Goodbye. And if no one told you, you're special just the way you are. Goodbye. Bye-bye.